You're allowed a little tolerance here. I'm allowed up to two and a half inches over a hundred feet of fall. I'm allowed a little bit of fall. How much rise am I allowed to have? None. Why not? What do we know about water's desire to go up hill? Nothing like to do it without encouragement, right? And so I'm allowed a little bit of fall. And so every 10 feet, I'm allowed a quarter inch of fall. All right? Why? Why do we want it so level? Old permits from the 60s and 50s, we would have full bubble of fall every 10 feet. They'd want a bunch of fall. Virginia has in parts of their code, a required fall. South Carolina's got a required fall. Why would we want things so level? Help me. I want, I, exactly, I want water to make that long, slow march. And when it's making that long, slow march down the trench, what's happening? It's being absorbed and soaking into our soil that don't all have a high percolation rate, right? They slowly take that water. If I had six inches of fall over 100 feet, where is the water going? Into the pipe. Into that pipe, and there's no good mechanism to bring it back here and soak it in. And so we're going to put these in as level as possible. If you show up on your first install and your first hundred foot of trench has two and a half inches of fall, it's legal, but the inspector's going to have a heart attack. We need to be tighter than that. Now, that is a tight tolerance. Talking about digging a ditch in the wild on slope, that's a tight tolerance. You guys are digging with scalpels, what are we digging with? That's good. Is this going to be a tough goal? Yeah, it will. We're going to go slow. We're going through a 